welcome to Ala School. To give you a little bit of uh, background, uh, we are one of the biggest uh, sellers of industrial machines and components in Estonia. We've been in the market for 29 years now. We have uh, 70 employees and last year's turnover was 23 million euros. To understand what we're selling, for example, we have SKF bearings, SEV motors, uh, Atlas Copco compressors and Minitech aluminium profile systems, which you see a lot of it in here. This department, what are we? I see a lot of custom-made products. Well, it started in a way that uh, we had several customers who were supplying components that asked, maybe you can build something for us, some custom-made uh, things. So we saw that uh, the market is growing for them. So we started to build machines, equipment and so on. And it's all custom-made. Today we, we design, we build and we assemble different equipment, machines and it's all tailor-made solutions. But since 90% of what we do is um, single cut prototypes, that means that the main challenge is the cost and the delivery times. And to keep them at bay, we need to produce as much as possible in-house in basically these machines in here. Our machines foremost have to be versatile, uh, easy to use and uh, easy to set up. How this business is growing, so year by year, how is the growth of this uh, custom-made, tailor-made products? For us, it's been around 30 to 40 percent a year. Growing? Yes, we haven't been in the business very long, but uh, yeah, the growth has been uh, pretty quick, I would say. Here is an example of what we can do in these two things. Uh, this is a roller conveyor. These, most of the parts in here come from uh, out of the department. We have the steel structures, we have the rollers, uh, set motor, and also some other smaller components. And if we move over in here, for example, this is a conveyor that we can mostly make from things in-house. So this is the aluminium profile in here, all these components, all these things we have in stock. So our delivery time for such a thing is uh, basically four weeks or so. Wow. And you, the designing of it is in-house? Yeah, designing also. Okay. So but uh, that shows that uh, yeah, we can do it uh, from aluminium profile or we can do it from steel. It depends on what the customer needs. Most of the steel comes uh, from outside and uh, most of the aluminium comes from uh, in our own stock. So basically a client comes to you with uh, an idea, some sketches and you're able to make a project, make a quotation and if it's a go, four weeks you deliver it. Yeah, uh, in very often uh, times uh, the customer uh, gives us uh, like a problem to solve. Like very usually, for example, I need this package from here to go to here and this is the requirements and then we come back with a sketch and then with the sketch we do the price calculation and then so on. I think it's very beautiful the fact that the client comes in here with an idea, you have, in, you have technical office, you can make project, quotation and then if he likes he gets. This is very unique Martin, especially for a, for a quality company and if you have a small workshop it's okay but you're not a small workshop. So this machine is, uh, is for filter assembly for people. Well, basically when we look at this in here, we see the structure is aluminum profile. Uh, and then we have all those components that Ala School is already selling. We have yeah, like hive in uh, linear systems, uh, SKF bearings, uh, small motors, etc. So we are just taking all the components, basically and putting them together and make a machine from it. And these plates, for example, are manufactured only for this machine these aluminium plates in here? Uh, yes, yes, uh, because they come in as uh, six meter profiles, so we cut uh, and machine them as, uh, as whatever way we need. Tell us about uh, challenges, so how uh, the market is uh, changing, what this pandemic and now this uh, uh, war shows, how this, let's say, new normal is for, for your everyday production. It's no secret that the prices of metal have really gone up so the more metal you have in-house, the more you can work with it, uh, the lower the cost is going to be. So that, that's the biggest challenge is the cost because when you're making uh, tailor-made solutions, basically every component you need one or two pieces. That means that uh, the economies of scale are not helping you at all. And then yeah, cost is number one. There's also delivery time. I am not waiting for my suppliers uh, for something. Uh, I can just make it in-house, have it ready, also, in case there is a problem with some part, I can make a new one fairly quickly. I don't have to wait in line until my supplier supplies it. And also this uh, custom-made uh, in-house 
has also a very big impact in the profitability, meaning what is your margin towards your, your, your supply chain? Yeah, it is, yes. Uh, at one part, uh, you know, we try to keep yeah, the margin as big as possible, but the other part is uh, we already know that custom machines are pretty expensive compared to standard machines and uh, Estonian market is, uh, is rather price sensitive. So that means what we cannot ask everything we want, so we need to work with it. We need to be efficient. This is what we envision in 4.0 Robotics, to deliver digital manufacturing products which are affordable, reliable, industrial grade, but also very, very flexible. This machine, for example, is very easy to move, it's 220, 10 ampere, and basically can machine and, and work in almost any composite material from aluminium, wood, plastics, glass, you name it. And this flexibility is what we feel that is a game changer in today's uh, economical situation. To step ahead in the logistic chain, to be able to in-house produce and manufacture parts, of course, is a big advantage. So our idea is to make what we call it the democratization of digital manufacturing. So to provide affordable and easy to use and maintain devices, which are also absolutely industrial grade. We have some of those working basically seven days per week, 24 hours per day, and the maintenance cycle are really, really long in the time. So what is the delivery time for such a machine? It's very interesting because at the moment we decided to increase the spec of all our production line. So all the new units are servo driven, and this allowed us not just to produce a higher grade machine, but also to reduce the amount of variation. So at the moment we have actually mostly two production lines. One is for Model 8, one in 16. And delivery time for Model 8 in Europe it will be around four weeks. If you're talking about Australia, we have one container uh, on the way to Melbourne. We are preparing one container for US. So I would say that today delivery time for 16 and Model 8 is around uh, four weeks for Europe and three to four months for Australia and US. And of course, is it possible to customize those machines for different usage? But the standard version with a quick tool change, servo motors, uh, is basically a, a stock machine that we continuously produce. So it really depends on the uh, booking that we have at the moment. But those are in everyday production cycle.